Nicole Mary Kidman is an American, Australian actress and producer. Though taking Moulin Rouge into consideration, feel free to add singer to that list. She was born on the 20th of June in 1967 in Honolulu, Hawaii, while her Australian parents were temporarily in the U.S. on student visas. Her mother, Janelle Ann, was a nursing instructor, and her father, Anthony, was a biochemist, clinical psychologist, and author. Her mother actually used to edit her father's books and was also a member of the Women's Electoral Lobby. Remember to give this video a like and subscribe to this channel for more videos on your favorite celebrities. In 2020, the New York Times Times ranked Nicole fifth on its list of the greatest actors of the 21st century up to that point. But who was the actress before she came famous? Nicole and her younger sister Antonio were raised in Sydney, Australia. Having been born in Hawaii, Nicole lived with her parents until the age of four when the young family moved back to Australia. Before moving back to Australia, Nicole's mother enrolled her in ballet, and soon it became clear that the young Nicole had a natural talent for acting. Nicole says the first time she aspired to become an actress was when she watched Margaret Hamilton's performance as the Wicked Witch of the West in The Wizard of Oz. Something that could still be seen at times today is how timid Nicole was as a child. She herself says that she was incredibly shy as a child and even had a stutter, something she slowly got over. Though she admits that even to this day, she finds that she can easily regress back into that shyness. Initially, Nicole studied at the Phillip Street Theater in Sydney alongside Naomi Watts. The pair also attended the same high school and are good friends to this day. Nicole also attended the Victorian College of the Arts in Melbourne and later enrolled at the Australian Theatre for Young People, where she took up drama and mime. Her natural talent coupled with good looks made her professional venture into the world of entertainment a natural move. Her official acting debut came at the age of 16, with roles in the 1983 films Bush Christmas and BMX Bandits, both of which are Australian films. Other than films, Nicole has also appeared in various television series such as Five Mile Creek, A Country Practice, and the miniseries Vietnam. At the age of 22, Nicole landed a leading role in the thriller Dead Calm and the miniseries Bangkok Kilton. In 1990, she made her Hollywood debut in the racing films Days of Thunder opposite Tom Cruise. She however reached wider recognition with lead roles in the 1992 film Far Away, Batman Forever, and To Die For in 1995 as well as Eyes Wide Shut in 1999. It was on the set of Days of Thunder that the whirlwind romance between Nicole and Tom started. A mere year after they met, they got married in Colorado. Two years later, in 1992, the couple adopted their first child, whom they named Isabel Jane Cruz. They adopted their second child, a boy named Connor Cruz, in 1995. Nicole also has two biological children, but we'll delve into that a little bit later. Nicole and Tom went on to be married for 11 years and got divorced in 2001. While both Nicole and Tom are still quite tight-lipped about what caused their relationship to fail, she has since hinted at specific factors that tell us why the two of them were never meant for each other. For starters, Nicole has admitted over and over again that she was too young for a long-lasting marriage. She was only 23 when the two walked down the aisle. Additionally, then there's the fact that Nicole married someone far more famous than she was at that time, which led her to playing a supportive role more often than not. This might have had its advantages for her then emerging career, but she has in the past hinted that she never felt like her main job was simply to dress up in a fancy dress and accompanied Tom to red carpet events. Yes, she was madly in love with them, and the two had had a happy marriage for the time they were together, but ultimately, it just seems it wasn't fulfilling enough for her. However, Nicole Kidman is currently living happily ever after with Keith Urban. The pair got married in June 2006 and even have two biological children together. Sunday Rose was born on the 7th of July 2008, and Faith Margaret was born on the 28th of December in 2010. Faith Margaret was born by a a surrogate mother. In a statement released by the couple after the birth of their second daughter, they said no words can adequately convey the incredible gratitude that we feel for everyone who was so supportive throughout this process. In particular, our gestational carrier. After the birth of their first daughter, the couple tried to conceive again naturally, but unfortunately failed. They tried again through in vitro fertilization, but were not successful. The couple were then advised by doctors to use the surrogate instead. Nicole's career of 38 years currently has seen her star in at least 84 films, with some of the biggest box office hits including the 1998 film Practical Magic, Eyes Wide Shut in 1999, Moulin Rose in 2001, The Paper Boy in 2012, and Big Little Lies in 2017. To date, Nicole has been nominated for 326 awards. Yup.
326 awards, and she's won an astonishing 107, including one Academy Award for Best Actress in the 2003 film The Others, five Golden Globe Awards for Best Actress in a Motion Picture, Musical, or Comedy in the 1996 film To Die For, Best Actress in a Motion Picture, Musical, or Comedy for Moulin Rose in 2002, Best Actress in a Motion Picture, Drama for The Hours in 2002, Best Actress in a Miniseries or a Motion Picture, Television for Big Little Lies in 2008. She has also won three Critics' Choice Awards for Best Lead Actress to Die For in 1996, Best Lead Actress in Movie Made for Television or Limited Series, and Best Movie Made for Television or Limited Series as Producer for Big Little Lies in 2018. While the rest of her accomplishments are just too many to mention, her involvement in charity work is definitely worth mentioning. Nicole has been a goodwill ambassador for UNICEF since 1994 and for Unifem since 2006. Fun fact, should you Google Nicole Kidman, her name will come up as being Nicole Mary Kidman AC. No, she hasn't changed her name legally. In 2006, she was named as one of eight people as a companion in the Order of Australia, which means she can add the two letters after her name. Being named a companion of the Order of Australia is a pretty big deal, as it is awarded for eminent achievement and merit of the highest degree in service to Australia or humanity at large. That's pretty awesome. So if you're in the land down under and you meet someone with AC in their name, you know they're a pretty big deal. I just wonder if members of legendary Australian rock band ACDC have AC after their names. Crikey. Anyways, as of 2021, Nicole Kidman's net worth is estimated to be roughly $250 million. We'll just let that sink in for a while. Yes, $250 million. That's a lot of zeros on a calculator. Among the impressive properties on Nicole's name is her and Keith Urban's main home, or rather mansion, in Nashville and is said to have cost them $3.4 million. The 10,925-square-foot home has seven bedrooms, 8.5 bathrooms, a tennis court, and a swimming pool. They also have two homes in Australia, a penthouse in Sydney and a 6.5 million farm in Bunya Hill. The 4,521-square-foot penthouse overlooks the famous Sydney Harbour Bridge. As for their farm, it's a 1878 Georgian-style mansion situated on surrounding farmland. The home's formal living room features a grand piano and an elegant fireplace. The 1,100-acre farm is also home to to black Angus cows, an orchid, and a small guest cottage. In 2020, Nicole's jewelry made headlines after she was spotted clapping awkwardly at the Oscars. And we must agree that wearing about 7 million worth of diamonds would make us clap slightly awkward too. I wouldn't even be able to see what I'm clapping at. When jetting between red carpets, Nicole travels in style. She recently shared a glimpse of her private Etihad Airways suite, which is said to be worth over 20000 per night. Taking to Facebook and March 2020, Nicole shared a picture of a double bed inside her private suite, which is branded as The Residence, captioning the snap with, wow, the most amazing flight ever. Thank you to all Eddie Hadaway Airways staff. Hashtag The Residence. And just to clear that up for you completely, The Residence is a suite inside a plane. It is actually the only three-room suite on a commercial airline. Nicole has also been known to frequent some of the world's most exclusive destinations, including the St. Regis Resort in Bora Bora. French Polynesia. Covering 44 acres within a turquoise lagoon, the hotel's villas are positioned either on the beach or over the water and offer views of Mount Antemanu. Celebrity visitors often off the stay in one of the five royal overwater pool villas, each offering two bedrooms and a private swimming pool suspended over the lagoon. In the summer months, Nicole also enjoys traveling around in her luxury yacht Sunseeker Manhattan 74. Though we're not sure how much the sun she actually soaks up, up, seeing that it's widely known how much she usually tries to avoid the sun. Nevertheless, the yacht is estimated at 4.5 million and features five cabins and separate crew quarters. It also offers a spacious living area and a complete kitchen, obviously. On land, Nicole's transportation list includes a Range Rover Vogue, which comes with a price tag of about $250,250, and a Bentley Continental GT said to cost around $202,500. Nicole has definitely worked hard at perfecting her craft. Though her God-given looks, grace, kindness, and etiquette has certainly served her well along the way. We'll leave you with one of our favorite Nicole Kidman quotes. Sometimes your mistakes are your biggest virtues. Those things that you think are the worst thing that's happening to you can somehow turn around and be the greatest opportunity. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you on the next one.